In my last pit fire, I did a few uh, larger pots like this, and they turned out beautiful, including this one, except for one little problem. It cracked right open. So of course, we can't use it as it is. But instead of throwing it out, I decided to try Kintsugi. It's an old Japanese technique where you not only glue things together, but you actually emphasize where you glued it with gold. So sort of like emphasize, emphasizing the imperfection. And I kind of like that idea. I never tried it on pit fight pots before though, but I think it would actually look really great on this one. So I'm going to try it and uh, see how it goes. There are many ways that you can do kintsugi. There's the original and true Japanese way of doing it. It takes forever and it costs a lot because you're using real gold, gold dust or, or, or plated gold, very, very thin pieces of, of gold paper. And as you know, gold is quite expensive these days. And, and especially for a long uh, uh, crack like this, I don't know how much it would be, but I don't want to spend that much money on trying this. And, uh, and also, I'm too impatient <laughs> for the Japanese way, where, where you basically you first glue it and you scrape off uh, the glue and then you fill up the crack with, uh, with another type of glue and then you add the, after some hours and it's still sticky, then you add the gold and then you remove the excessive gold and you polish it and it takes a long time. There's an easier way of doing it. It's not perfect. Uh, I don't know, the Japanese would probably hate me for this, but I'm not the only one doing it this way. You still use glue and you need a very strong glue. I use this uh, epoxy or resin uh, glue. It's a two component uh, glue. Uh, I just bought this, very simple. You can also buy it in separate uh, um, containers. I bought this double container, so you just basically press it out and you get equal amounts of both. And then you mix it up to activate it. And then you only have few minutes, I think, I don't know exactly, five, ten minutes for this one, to, um, to put it on and put the pieces together until it starts sticking. Uh, I like it fast because then you don't need to hold them together forever. In this case, of course, it's not that difficult because they actually fit uh, perfectly. So what I will also do is I will use something that is not gold. It looks goldish. It's a fake sort of gold. It's, a, it's a still a metal sort of thing um, and, and looks okay, but I mean, if you polish this versus gold, of course gold is going to be much more shiny and, and probably have a longer lasting uh, effect. But this is like a fraction of the price. I'm sure you can find this in hobby stores in your area as well. I found this in a, in a store in Denmark called Søstrene Græne. It's only about, I don't know, 50 cent or something. Very cheap. So um, we're going to open this up, and as you see, it does look very much like, um, I don't know if it's sharp enough, yeah? Uh, it looks very much like the, the, the real gold you can get in these very, very thin pieces. And I think that's going to be good enough. So you could still use this in the way that uh, originally uh, Kintsugi is done, where you first glue it, and then you clean it, and then you add another layer of glue and add this uh, with a brush. But I'm going to do it uh, in a different way. Some people do that. I didn't invent this way. Uh, where you actually mix the gold into the glue. And then you put enough glue on the, on, on the crack. So when you push it together, some of it will, will, will stick out. Then you can still clean it up a little bit and, and, and uh, make it nicer that way. So let's try and go ahead with this. Why do they always pack it this way? That it's it's almost impossible to get out. Um, am I the only one? Oh, 
Okay, in this one, there's even a small tray um, to mix it and a mixer. Um, I think that's that's gonna work good. I put a newspaper here um, just to protect my table because it is a very strong glue and you definitely don't want to get it on furniture or, or anything like that. Let me just bend the camera down a little bit so we can... So basically I'm gonna mix um, some of this glue. Um, I'm just gonna take these pieces apart. I'm just carefully placing it here. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna put something here so it doesn't roll away. And um, I'm gonna try and mix this glue and see how it works. And as you mix it, you can see that it sort of changes color. Uh, it becomes a little wider. Um, and this is when, when the two chemicals are reacting to each other. So, um, so this is this is good. Apparently, <laughs> something went wrong with my camera. Uh, so I didn't actually record where I'm mixing the glue with the gold. But, but basically, after I injected the two different components in the epoxy glue, I mixed it up a little bit, and then I took some of the gold flakes and I mixed it in. So I got this glue, the golden glue, and uh, it's, you didn't miss that much. But now let's move on with applying it. So now the glue is mixed. Um, there's some gold in it. Um, and I'm going to apply Gently um, this mix to, um, to the side of the pot. Let's see if I can do it here so you can see how it looks. And now the tricky part here is of course to add enough for the, um, for the glue to be pressed out, but not so much that it, um, it, it, it looks bad. I don't mind if there's a little bit too much that sticks out on the inside, but I don't want it to be way, way too much on the outside. I'm just going to try and see if I can. I'm just going to take off if there's anything that dripped down. That was just a little bit. So now we're going to put the two pieces together. And I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that it will work. So far, I think it looks okay. Maybe a little bit excessive, but some places I can I can scrape that off but it looks good I think and it looks like it's a nice fit so now I'm just gonna leave it um, for a few moments I think it takes I don't know 10 minutes whatever um, and I'll come back to you
Now <clears throat> it had some time to dry, and I mean the first look, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, I'm quite happy. I will, however, go over it with a knife, small knife, or maybe this blade. I'm not sure uh, because there is some uh, excessive um, parts that I may want to you know, get rid of if I can. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit too much at places, but nah, I think, I think actually, let me see here, there is of course the risk when you do this that um, you will peel off some of your beautiful um, uh, pit fired colors, so I'm going to be very careful. Yeah, no, it's actually, I think, I think I'm just gonna, you, you can probably, it's still a little bit soft, I wouldn't call it wet, but just slightly soft. I think I'll let it dry a little bit more, and then when, it, when it's hardened, I may polish it a little bit with um, my steel wool, and I think that will take the rest of it, but it's too sticky now. To, to do something and scraping you know I tried a little little bit here but I could do that if it was a glaze pot but this is a pit fire so it's a little more sensitive um, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now I think it looks beautiful um, and I mean I won't throw it around <laughs> yet <laughs> Maybe never, but um, I will just leave it a little longer and be sure that it's hardened completely. So, what did I learn from this? Well, <clears throat> first of all, you shouldn't throw out uh, pit fight pots just because you get a crack. I do think that this Kensuki thing actually looks nice, especially if you have these darker uh, colored um, pots. That golden line is actually... <laughs> I'm afraid to say that I actually made the pot look better. <laughs> so maybe I should go and, and crash some of my existing pots. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But I think it actually added something to it. And definitely I have a pot now that's working. And uh, I'm going to try my sealant uh, on the inside. I have a video about the different sealants that I'm using. But the one I'm using inside for these pots will make it totally waterproof. Now I haven't done it before with a repaired pot with the Kintsugi repaired pot, so I'm not sure if it will be completely uh, waterproof, but I guess it will because the glue is super strong <laughs> and I don't see any, any openings now, so I'm sure it will. Anyway, this was a short video, but it was about how to save a crack pot and uh, I think it was good to include as well. So if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, um, share, give it a thumbs up, or thumbs down if you really hate it. Write a comment if you have any questions. I'll try and answer the best that I can. Keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not an expert in Kintsugi at all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope to see you soon again. And have a great day.